It's time for episode 8 Beyblade Burst Gachi, the exciting Bay Carnival. Hello everyone, and before we continue, can we get this video past 500 likes? And make sure to comment what was your favorite battle in that episode, and what was your favorite battle that I'll be doing in this video. Now, a quick, quick disclaimer, because I know a lot of people have been asking me, where do you watch Gachi? How do you do it? I keep on having to delete and ban people that put sites that pirate it or AMVs or whatever, right? I keep on saying I have a video that explains it in detail on how you can do it simply if you don't want to go there, which I, anyways, I go in depth on that video. Proton VPN is the program that I use to make a Japanese VPN to watch the episode, not sponsored. So let's begin. All right, so the episode starts off with the big carnival beginning. I think Volt says something like, Hey everyone, uh, good luck out there, and do a good job, and everyone's cheering. So there's a new stadium that was introduced in this episode. I think it was called the Double, the High Double Stadium. It's basically two stadiums in one. Now, if you remember, what was it? It was that big long stadium, was it the B50? Uh, someone's got to tell me the number. That's, I guess, the stadium they kind of base it on in the anime. It's all right, I guess. The pattern for this one is green on the inside. Or, I guess, no, blue lines that make the X and then after green. It looks cool. So Drum has his first opponent against uh, nobody, who has Orb Aegis. And the thing is with this stadium, it's very hard to control your bay. So he wins. Fumia does some taunting or whatever, he's like, hey, uh, I'm gonna destroy all of you and win, I guess. That's what I'm guessing he was saying, because it's Fumia, right? He's still not 100% on the good guy's team. So then after we have Joe, he meets Drum and he flips the coin. I still don't know what flipping the coin means when it, when it gets a happy clown or a sad clown. Maybe it's like total victory or not total victory, I don't know. So he goes up against uh, Amane's little brother. Got the name of the kid. He has Crash Ragnarok, like, 8-bump yard. Actually, I thought it was actually the transparent Ragnarok, but it actually has green on there, but they chose a green background for it, which is weird. So his launch, actually, is he has the coin on his hand, and when he launches the bait, you can actually see the coin shine. So he basically kind of says, like, luck or judge, or go judgment, whatever. And then after when it hits, both bays go fly, and either one of them bursts. And it's pretty cool. So Ragnarok loses, or there's some other matches. Uh, Fumia's sister actually has this Arch Hercules, which looks really cool. But I do hope she gets her own bear, or we at least get that lair in the random lair collection. Fumia battles, he wins, and there's a bay that bursts, but it's like a salamander, like a zero eternal. And then after we just cut to this guy, so I'm not too sure what bay he's gonna have. Again, I'm not, I don't think he's gonna get Longinus. Because there's already a bleeder that very much looks like Louis, but I guess we're gonna see. Because Drip Bahamut has to have a sum owner in the anime. It could be uh, that tall hat guy that we saw in the manga poster, but we have to wait. So it's Ichiko versus Joe, which is like Joe or who? I can't say the last name. It's gonna be a little tough. But he does this really cool thing in the battle where, it, because Trick works like it'll switch midway through the battle, he switches from like defense to attack. And then after he has a move that's like called All In, and he wins. And the next, uh, the next episode is Mane versus Joe, and I think he says Bingo after he wins. I kind of like Joe's character. I think it's pretty cool. Yeah, but I don't think the owner for Bahamut or Longinus will be revealed next episode, episode nine. I think episode ten maybe we'll get the reveal for it, which will be in two weeks then. But. Yeah, it's an alright episode. I don't really have any complaints. I think it showed off Judgment Joker perfectly. I hope in real life it's actually just as good. It is a little bit weird they showed off a bit of Dio Boros, but we still haven't seen uh, the new Longinus yet, so I was kind of hoping we were going to see a video with that, but I guess they're going to wait. Tell me your thoughts on the episode, and I guess now I'll just do like some random matches between my DT bays. Alright, now that we've seen the episode, I feel it's time we only do the battles. So obviously, I don't have Judgment Joker. I don't have any of... Any of, yeah, I don't have any of the new releases, obviously. Uh, I, I guess we'll, ha we'll handle with this, right? I got a lot of these bays here. So I was thinking, you know, in the theme of the bay carnival, whatever, I thought it'd just be fun just to do a lot of like maybe big battle royales. So I'll pick maybe like 
three days or something like that. And then after, we'll do some battles. So I'll probably keep this short. I'll probably just do like a sessions of like two rounds each or something like that, I guess. We'll, we'll, we'll see. We'll, we'll see how it goes. And yeah, I guess I'll go with this. All right, let's, uh, let's begin now. Let's get started. Let's, let's try it. I know I said session to three, but I just thought it'd be a lot more fun to try this out. Cosmo Valkyrie, no! Ooh! Grand Valkyrie, look at that go! Yeah, so I still am wondering about the Cosmo Lair Base, right? Because I'm sort of wondering how it's going to really work. Because I don't want them to make Lair Bases, or Lairs for that matter, where they just don't use it. I'm really hoping we kind of see Cosmo like in action. Like in action, action. Oh, I keep on forgetting that. Let's try. Woo! Okay! Ha that's, uh, that's a no no. That's a no no. That is. Alright. Uh, Alright, Grand Valkyrie. Yeah, uh, so no. No. Just no to all of that. Uh. Guess I lost the lair for Slash Valkyrie and the driver for Cosmo. So I guess uh, this round this round was a little bit too much for me. A little bit too much. So I guess I'll, I'll guess I'll have to like go and find the parts for that. Alright, so I think we're gonna rest with that bunch that I just picked out. Let's try a different bunch of bays. Let's try a wizard. Let's try Lucian Asura. Bushin Dragon, Rock Dragon, and Slash. So far, so good. Yeah, so that. Okay, never mind. Alright, so with that big carnival stadium, I'm kind of wondering, right? If. Now, Takara Tommy's not gonna make a stadium like the big carnival. I'm kind of waiting on Hasbro to adapt that, because Hasbro kind of did make their own rail rush stadium. And I did like a battle tower, or whatever that was in the anime. Yeah, Taikur Tommy doesn't really do those types of stadiums, so kind of waiting. I am actually doing a custom stadium, which is sort of in the theme of the stadium from the Big Carnival. But you know, wait and see, I guess. All right, let's actually try to get this. Okay. Burst! Yo, I called it. Burst! Hey, the, the driver's still in? Alright, I, I don't know. Uh, I guess we'll try to end it off with maybe just as many bays as I can try to launch in this stadium, and I'll be it for this video. Definitely, let's try to get this video past 500 likes. Tell me your thoughts on the episode, tell me your thoughts on these battles. I did keep the stadium in the LED lights of purple, the LED lights of purple. Because I thought, hey, it'd be really cool if it was in purple. It's not going to work because one leaf's going to burst before it gets in. Or not. Or not. Whoa, okay. Hey, that was actually kind of cool. All right, that's it for this video. Try to beat our like goal. That is it. Tell me thoughts on the episode. Call it that. Uh, yeah, that's kind of it. If... If there's anything else, try to do a breakdown later today. But yeah, thank you for watching and hope you have an awesome day.